Hi everyone, this is Marcia. We're back with another bag from Value Village. This one is number five of that six bag haul that we got back um, on Columbus Day in October. So, I am a full week behind on my videos. I did not even post one last week, so sorry about that. Um, it's just crazy busy. And then the holidays coming up, so you all understand. I know that. Um, did I say this was twelve ninety nine? So six fifty we paid for this bag. And I hope you all are having a good day. Let's look at some jewelry. Well, already I see some loose beads. So, future projects. <laughs> there you go. A pair of earrings right there. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so, this is so lightweight, but this is, uh, it's an interesting, let me get that out of the way, an interesting design. Uh, I tell you, these pat these are so lightweight, they almost feel like they're plastic, which they may very well be. But uh, it has that quilting. I don't know if you can see that, like a checkerboard pattern. Um, don't see any tags. It has the lobster claw clasp. But interesting design. And... Okay, we definitely have some broken pieces in this bag, and this is like a multi-strand. Uh, I'm holding on to this end here. These are dyed green, looks like wood beads, and uh, this will probably, well, we could always just take this strand off. Whoops getting caught up here. Anyway, we could take this one strand off and it could be a three strand. It's a rather interesting, interesting look. But anyway, or we could just take it all apart and repurpose all the beads. I already have um, thoughts of what I can do with this. So, so that's uh, broken future project. That's pretty. Shell flower necklace with the macrame. Very beachy. There's another piece. This is uh, uh, looks like an afterthought. This looks like just this is just a plastic, very lightweight plastic piece. Uh, These beads are cool. Hmm. I'm not sure if these are glass or a natural stone. They are drilled in such a way. I, I'm not sure. I'd have to look at these closer, but this is going to go. But the beads. Um, might be worth holding on to. This, I want to get to this. Oh, <laughs> so happens to go with this. That's interesting. Goes like this. I don't like the ribbon, but I do like the, um, the pendant and I like the beads. So, we can rethink that. And this is, this is nice, actually. Got a shadow going on here, don't we? <laughs> That's very nice. Wooden beads. And in good condition. Nothing broken on this one. 
Very good. Very good. That's all of these little beads. Yeah, we have, we got more than a pair of earrings here. This whole thing broke. Uh, let's get rid of this. Um, well, it's not missing a pin, just needs to be re... Oh, yes, it is. That was the band. Um, Geneva, watch. Missing a pin and probably needs a battery. This. This is interesting. This has a safety chain and I don't know, is this the um, catch of a Pandora? I've never had a Pandora. I don't really know what they're supposed to look like. This is 925 stamped on this bead. That is not, that is not. This looks like it has a stamp on it. Assuming it is 925. This one does not look like it is stamped. But let me check. No. Just, just all of the, um, the red crystal beads. They have the, the, they're called silver line beads. These are actually sterling on the inside. So that's very nice. I'll have to do my homework on that. Very pretty, and the color is perfect for the Christmas season. So I'll put that to the side and check into that. Oh my. This is very, I don't know, could that be, that's not quite choker, but it's very, a very short necklace. Uh, don't see any names, but interesting. Trying to work around these broken beads. This is pretty. Look at that. Wow. The blue rhinestone and the cat's eye beads, cabochon, and the rosary style necklace. And the crystals. Very pretty. I like that. Okay, another chunky acrylic. These are acrylic beads, although these are cold. Yeah, I think they're acrylic. Nice big Rolo chain. No names, but anyone that likes gray would like that. I do like gray. What have we got here? We've got a broken chain. Although we could probably put a jump ring on the end of that. I don't believe this to be precious metal, but nope. And you know what? It's got a slight pull. So anyway, got a chain there. Oh, this is pretty in that rose gold. Little medallion with the rhinestones. Very pretty. That's nice. I'm not going to do any more of the single earrings. If they come out single, I'll put them on the side until I match them all. Match them all up. Well, this is interesting. See, these are metal pieces. Very lightweight, but this looks like it's been spray painted. Probably a handmade piece. Okay. 
we go. Chain. Here's another chain. Hmm, this has the sister clasp. So, I'm thinking this is older. Monet did a lot with the sister clasp. But I don't know that everything that has a sister clasp is Monet. Because I think the... The sister clasp like this, I think, was around before Monet came out with the, like the, kind of like a, a lobster claw clasp, but you, when you pull on it, it opens up, it has the double side like this, but I'm hoping that'll clean up, because that's a pretty chain. And what do we have here? We have, this looks like it's broken, and I'm not sure if these are glass beads or not. They feel a little cool, so they might be glass beads. A lot of them. We can repurpose that. And... This is elastic cord. Oh, very, very brittle. I felt like that was going to snap. But these are all wooden beads. Put together like that. Oh my, this is not what I expected. <laughs> this is um, a wire necklace, multi-strand, and one very long cascading shell pendant. That's different. Okay. Is everything... Oh no, we had bracelets. I was going to say, is everything necklaces? No, we had a bracelet and an earring. tangle here. Alright. Well, this is different. And it's broken. <laughs> Alright. That's a broken piece. But these are interesting. These are metal. Almost like that the dagger. But the chain's broken. But they can be repurposed. Always, always reuse the beads. My goodness, what is this? Do we have a clasp? Yeah, we do. Okay, so this is, looks like multi, it needs some straightening out, but it is a multi-chain, layered chain with the dangles, little metal ball and dangles there. Huh, no clasp. Oh, this is a very large box chain, large links. See how they form a box? Square and then square on square. But this is uh, something you'd probably roll on if you could get it over your knuckles. So another bracelet. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ooh, got a ring. A very blingy ring. Costume jewelry. It's just adjustable, but it sure does have some shine to it. Ooh. Do not want those beads going over the place. Oh, they just want to spit out there. Oh my, this is tiny. Wow, that is very small. Definitely choker. I'm guessing a handmade piece. Glass beads, though. Can repurpose them. 
because that is awfully, that would make an awfully tight necklace. Well, this is different. These are all glass beads also. No name, lobster claw clasp. Oh, it does not want to lay right. Very, very tight. It's very it's put together very tightly there. But anyway, those are very interesting beads. Very almost like a brownish copper color or chocolate color. Maybe not so much copper. More chocolate. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> Here we have See if it says Korea. Yes, it does. It says Korea. Nice. I've gotten other rope chains that look like this, and they were Korea, so I figured this one might be as well. Very nice. Nothing wrong with that one. Ooh. Oh. We are definitely missing some rhinestones on that. Looks like a wedding piece. Um, but this has a cartouche on the back. Let's see if we can identify the maker. It says Tanya Lind. It's T A N Y A and then L I N D. Another one I will have to look up. Not familiar with that. Okay. Well, here we have a heart necklace. I don't see a clasp. I do not see a clasp. It's very lightweight metal. Puffed hearts on a very lightweight chain. But pretty. It's very pretty. Okay, let's see if we can get these pieces apart. Ooh, that was easy. Uh, let's see, this has a hang tag on it, etc. Very lightweight. Look at the coins. Okay, and this, oh, we got a little flower power. <laughs> um, this is cute. Let's see. This is really cute for a little girl. A little girl, or, you know, anyone that likes a whimsy. Those are nice bright colors. I like that. Yeah, where to put it? Where to put it? Okay. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. A lot. I think these are, well, there's one single pearl. And then there's a chain. I don't know if the chain. Yes, the chain is part of these beads. So, uh,. We're just going to scoot this off to the side. These are beautiful beads, that turquoise color. Got another one in there. We'll definitely do something with those. And this looks like it's the hook with this, but uh, hopefully the little charm medallion is in here oh wow oh my goodness this is a set oh my goodness three-piece set we've got earrings we have a stretch bracelet oh, boy, I 
think these are all wow I think these are all glass beads and they're beaded beaded beads oh my goodness and look at this necklace no name I don't see any name but look at that and we just there's a rhinestone loose here, and I'm thinking, yep, it came out of here. So, alrighty, well, we have to hold on to that. But this thing is, that's elaborate. My goodness. Very elaborate. Alrighty, and... Oh, yes! Look! Yay! So we... Only one? Only one pair of earrings in this... bag. We have some sparkle. So that's good. And then here... And the only thing that's in this bag, I don't know if you can see, is these beads. I'm going to put all of these back in here so they don't end up on my floor. All right, and then this is the last piece, which is rather pretty. It is choker style. It's like that brushed gold. I don't see any marks, no names. Um, I'm not sure. It looks like it could be an older piece. Interesting. Alrighty, well, that's it. <laughs> pretty quick so um, we'll move on to the next bag which is the last bag of that um, six bag haul and um, then we'll go from there with other goodies so um, thank you all for watching uh, take care and we'll see you on the next video bye bye